did this today. <laughs> it's like more numbers. That's why oh, I think Victor's going. Around. It's like more. Just so you know, oh, all, all of these guys have weapons. Given oh, last good. time, given yeah, given last time that it did feel like it. Can I check my arm again? Uh, not yet. I'll tell you. Okay. I was gonna say it's like, is he really here or not? Because I've seen enough of that shit for it to happen. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's definitely him here. Oh good. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you hard. Yeah, his army is slowly uh, like you're already surrounded. Behind on your backs, there's the mountain, and in front of you is a sea of creatures, all different shapes and sizes and weapons. A huge army. There's no escape. Like how many creatures? <laughs> like a I thousand. said, in the thousands. <laughs> So are you go just gonna I'm... send your minions instead of fighting yourself? <laughs> That's cute. To think that you would deserve me as an opponent, please. If you I... can't handle just a few thousand creatures of this caliber, you have no chance against me. I will not sell in my hands with your blood. We don't have time to kill your fucking minions. It's gonna take like hours. I like your attitude. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> I don't know how long, Come how many on. you got? Uh, by the way, you're choice. bombarded by a, shadow, uh, by a shower of arrows, what do you do? Dodge. Dodge. You can't <laughs> dodge. <laughs> There's nowhere to Alexa dodge. Uh, Alexander, by the way, these, these waves are physical, aren't they? Yeah. Like, they're... Yeah. Basically, what I want to do is suddenly dash forward and basically pick one up by his body and lift him above like an umbrella. Pro plus strength. Damn it. Nice. Right, uh, what about well, the rest of you guys? How are you gonna I've, avoid the arrows? I what put my shield gonna... up. Oh, okay, plus con. Ah, uh, well. Okay, what about the other three guys? I'm gonna use a cloak. Okay, perfect. Taliwa, what's the on you guys? Uh. <laughs> What's good versus arrows? Prognosaurus, right? Prognosaurus. I'd say turtle. <laughs> yep. I'd say more turtle. Answer to everything. Wouldn't turtle be better? Turtles can't fight. Yeah, you just need to avoid the attack and switch back. That's one <laughs> too that? many actions. Just can't fight. If you turn into a prognosaurus, the arrows are still gonna hit you, like hundreds of arrows. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah more arrows are gonna hit you. Then, oh, I'll turn it into a snake. That way I could be super agile and dodge. No, you cannot dodge hundreds of arrows. Uh, uh, can I summon a monster in front of the arrows? <laughs> yes, what? you can, as a shield. I definitely will. Uh, I don't... It says a monster, but what kind of monster? Basically, it's gonna be a beef, beefy behemoth that's gonna eat the arrows for you, and then it's gonna yeah. die. I mean, all you need is really like something the size of a cat. <laughs> okay, I'll still have a plus intelligence Get it, you're to make short. sure you're protected from the arrows. Okay, you're fine. You're gonna get protection. I'll tell you what, what about you? You're the only one left. What was the aid for? You turn into what? Uh, uh, I'll just oh. turn into a regular wolf and then I'll just hide behind the monster. A what monster. Wolf. You cannot use another person's thingy to protect yourself. Ah! Can, can I not, like, cloak two persons? No. no. Uh. <laughs> so, Taliwa, what were you turning into? Uh, a turtle. A turtle? Okay, Fine, so I'll turn into a stupid turtle. Okay, so you, you don't need to roll because you're basically gonna hide in your shell and you'll be fine. What about a Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Turtle? They can right. fight. Ash, you failed. So the arrows go through the yeah. body and they start piercing you. And oh, since wow, you're wow. so Damn close it. to the army, since you needed to grab one of them, they also managed to slice you up pre pretty good. <laughs> you are going to take a lot of damage. Oh, hero bad. Wow. Dead hero. And by a lot, I oh, mean oh, 15. Oh, my monster. It has some useful adaptation. Immunity to arrow. <laughs> There's no such thing. Yeah, it says a useful right. adaptation. Given that so, his whole given body. Giving us a huge amount of damage, I think I'm gonna use my my power to block it. You already used <laughs> it today. I it's not one today. It regenerates 
As long as I have one hour, I can regenerate very fast. And I doubt really? it took us less than an hour okay, okay. to arrive Okay, okay. Then you can use it. <laughs> right. What about... Uh, let's Whew, see. Vic rolled... I think Vic rolled poorly. Yeah, just an 8. Okay. It's not poor. So, Vic, here's what... Ha well, it's not poor, but it's not good. Vic, uh, here's what happens. Uh, you are entrenched and trying to endure the arrows. Basically, some of the army is gonna manage to move in on you and they're gonna get an attack on you. Or, you can lose the shield. It's gonna get pierced pretty hard and destroyed. Or, you can move out of the way and protect yourself and that's gonna expose uh, O'Sullivan to another attack and this time the monster's not gonna be able to protect you because it's dead. Uh, as much as I want to hear the salt from the last option... Uh... <laughs> No, I'll, I'll <laughs> take the first one, the guy's coming towards me. Okay, so you are entrenched pretty bad, you can't move a muscle? Sure. What? If... Sullivan, what? Never mind, okay. Then. I get four... I get four traits on that monster. Okay. So, and it, it has... Uh, it has plus two to all... It has plus two to con. Okay. <laughs> it's not reckless. Okay. It has some useful adaptation. Okay. And it gets plus 2 HP for each level I have. Okay, what's the useful adaptation? Do you get to pick? Uh, it just says useful adaptation. I guess that means GM picks. Uh, the GM will tell you the type of monster you get based on the traits you select. Hmm, then it's not gonna be something like a behemoth, because that would be too dumb. Well, why not? You why know what you get? Huh? You, get a, you get a rock elemental. Yay! That's what you get. And it protects you for the most part, but eventually, like the Rain of Arrows, even though it endures most of it, after a while they start hurling fire bombs as well, endure, so it's dumb. I want it to endure the arrows. Wait, can you make moves with it? It says treat it as your character, but okay, endure only plus two con. basic moves, which would be in which. Would okay, be plus con, pain. go for it. How much health does it have, by the way? Uh, twelve. Okay, so <laughs> roll plus con. Hmm. Roll a two d six, and I'll add its bonuses. You said it's hmm. plus two to everything, right? As in wait, plus, plus one. To, it's plus one to everything, but plus two to con. Okay, okay, go for it. Damn. Yeah, it's gonna get destroyed either way. With 12 Wait. health, it just can't That's a D20. That oh. oh, you fucked up. Yes, I did. I fucked up, man! You fucked this up! This isn't D&D, motherfucker. What is it, 2D4? Or 2D6? 2D6. That's a D20, all of a sudden he's like, 22, what the fuck? Oh. Even worse. Yep, that's uh. definitely a dead elemental. But hey, it protected you. So Vic, uh, since, you're, since you're pretty entrenched, you can't move because of the arrows. By the time the hail of arrows like uh, lightens up, the monsters are already near you. And they're gonna be attacking you. Mm -hmm. You cannot defy them because you didn't have time to get ready. They're gonna armor? strike you for five damage. Can I rock armor though? Uh, no, you can't. Because, oh, it doesn't uh, actually matter. Uh, you can because you already used it today, and I said that you can't use it for the rest of the day because of the roll. For the rest of the day? Yeah. What? Yep, no rock armor for today, man. All right. Well, I take one damage uh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Well, you couldn't have made it below one damage anyway, right? No, it's impossible to make it below one. Yeah, if you right. get hit, it's always the minimum of one. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter here. Yep. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so, so is that it? Can I make another move? Yes. I want to summon a notcher again. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this monster thing. Uh, what's the spell called? Summon. Uh, it's called Summon Monster. This time, 
Uh, here, let me roll one d6 to see how many traits I get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! It has access only to basic moves. It has plus one to all stats. No, no, one no. HP. Three, no, you get it. Yeah. One HP. But I get one trait, so it has 12 HP. It, it, it's on. Uh -huh, I get it. Yes, plus two instead stuff. of plus one to start. It's not reckless. It does 1d8 damage. It's spawn to your plane is strong. Plus two HP for each capability. It has some useful adaptation. Blah, blah, blah. When this spell is ongoing, you take a minus one to cast a spell. Okay. Right. So you say that this monster has health and that's it, right? Yes. It's, it's a, a big. It's a. I mean, it's not a big. It's a boar. You get the boar. <laughs> I was, you know, I was hoping to get at least a two. It's like its useful adaptation is that it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I, it's like I summon a fire elemental or I summon an ooze that's on that's made of gasoline. So an you get the boar. Like, on, like hey, O'Sullivan, on the bright side, now you have boar control. Because hey, card games. Hey, no one ever said I can't summon more than one monster. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be at the minus one. Oh wait, no, ongoing. You can only have one ongoing. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, only hey. one. Too bad. Okay, O'Sullivan summon. I use an, o I an o Sullivan point. <laughs> no. So. You are a loser. So O'Sullivan <coughs> just summoned a very cute piggy. Oink oink oink. Hmm. He, uh, by the way, this guy says, hmm, yeah, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? I don't really have that much time. So he just snaps his fingers and his pet appears again. Make up your mind! <laughs> He's okay, good. I don't to play the, with you! No, the I don't giant thing? I play with you. <laughs> yeah, the giant, the giant thing is gonna show up. What okay. giant thing? What does it look like again? You're about to find out, I'm uploading. What giant thingy? His pet. I don't remember if I remember. You'll remember soon. I don't remember at so, all. So, yeah, when you said what giant thingy, I mean this giant thingy. The yeah. dead double-headed behemoth giant. We can go huh. full Shadow of Colossus on oh. this guy, right? It's that dude! I remember So, now. as he summons him on the battlefield, obviously this guy squashes a lot of his army. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't <laughs> seem to care much about that. Yeah, like all demons, generals. Ale Alexander checks his arm. <laughs> it's, come, on, come on, it's like trying to start a car. Oh yeah, this <laughs> thing's definitely worthy of a mega punch. Ah! Oh, Sullivan! I need you to do that Black Ahana thing! <laughs> what? Go blah blah blah? <laughs> the Wawa? The Wawa? -wa? No, that's not what it is. The Black Gahana I mean, thing. The Black remember? Flames and stuff, right? It's called the Black Gahana. Remember your own spells! I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Please? <laughs> Giant appears like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna step on us. Damn it. I'm so far away from that lane. So... Are we gonna... By the way, you hear a voice from beside you. Uh, my, my, what a find. It seems you are all in a bind. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, <sighs> what did he just say? Uh, my, my, what a find. It seems you are all in a bind. Wherever the sound is coming from, I wanna punch whatever direction this comes from. Uh, is that that uh, rhyming devil? Yep. Yeah. Anyway, can we go full shadow of the glasses on this guy? You wanna try climbing him? Well, so... how else do you want to fight that guy? Do you require some assistance, or is this your idea of persistence? Um, well, if do you, you can have, have anything them. that could power me up? 
Uh, that would be a tall order. He, uh, before he finishes his line, you see that um, the guy, uh, uh, the demon that you don't know his name yet, that, stole, uh, that took that shard from you, is basically starting to throw fireballs because he realizes there's another demon around you. And the rhyming guy shuts up because he realizes now is probably not the safest time to talk. He creates a portal and he kind of says like, uh, like guides you with his hand to step forward. Oh, well, I guess we're leaving. Place. Damn yeah. it. Oh well. Later, Alexander's clearly, is clearly not wanting to go, but he knows he's gonna have to. I send the pig out into the masses and then jump in the portal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have uh -huh. tried to fight, but okay, if you don't want to risk it. No, cool. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you managed to avoid the particularly nasty situation by running away very tactically. Some, I didn't see any stats on that thing, so we obviously can't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have stats. Fuck that. Uh... If it had stats, <laughs> that means it's killable. If it has stats, it can but, die. Basically, I bet I could kill it. Don't you, know give that, me power don't you know that Pathfinder gods have stats? That mm. means they're killable. Mm -hmm. That's because you can become gods, that's why. I heard that from D&D, &D, I think. Mm. Just a sec. Like, basically, so... they just have nothing to do, so they, they go and kill gods. Because, why not? Because, why are you killing gods? Because they have stats! <laughs> Goddamn murder hobos! Do they drop, like, uh, epic loots? Oh. No! Gain their power. <laughs> oh, okay, that's boring, but sure, why not? How is that boring? I prefer gaining powers than loot. I prefer man. getting awesome epic loots. That technically it is loot. It's loot that you can't see, but you can feel. <laughs> you guys are transported somewhere. It's a floating <laughs> fucking island. There you go. Yeah, it's yeah. different so... from the ones that you were on earlier, Vo. This one's definitely because you don't see any ground. You're literally only air and clouds, nothing else. It looks I see. Is that cloud or that looks like rock? Hmm. It's definitely. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Wind Temple. No, it doesn't. The Wind Temple was on rock. This. Yes. So, uh, you guys appear inside this uh, structure, and there's a guy with his back to you. Uh, the guy that teleports you here, the rhyming guy, steps out with you guys and addresses him. Uh, he basically introduces all of you one by one. Tali turns into a bear. That seems rather unfair. Next to her is Vic. He seems to be a real prick. Alexander thinks he is a hero, but really, he is just a zero. Emu is a little <laughs> weird. Maybe he should grow a beard. Speaking of Thank which, you. we have O'Sullivan the gnome. I really think his beard could use a comb. Seriously, if you want facial hair this long, you need to have it managed. Otherwise, you'll be at a disadvantage. I already know them, you don't need to introduce them. The rhyming guy bows and disappears. And huh. the guy that turns around and faces you is someone you haven't seen. Uh, uh, no, actually you have seen... Uh... It's a librarian! Shortly ago. Anyway, mm, I'm gonna me, have Palazar. to move through a few pictures to get to the right one, so bear with me. This oh, is not no, it's him again. Nope. <laughs> it's not ah, I just either. Need put... Spoilers. Ah, it's me. <laughs> uh, no, let's see. Oh, fuck, I still can't reach it. You're Probably kidding me. How far away is it? Try not to give spoilers. It's not him either. No, oh, not that him. Okay. Thank oh yeah, I remember him. Fuck that there asshole. we go. It's finally we're finally at the right picture. Ah, I don't know you. Oh. Of course we know him. I don't know him. Hey, dude, we've met many times. So yeah, uh, the guy that's uh, here waiting for you at the temple is actually Ruru. Why, hello there. Welcome to my humble abode. Well, one of my humble abodes. You live here? Yeah. Not exactly. Seems you have oh. helped us once again. Yes, you well, I have too much riding on this to see you die in such a place. 
I honestly think we could have taken him. Alexander nods. Mm. Blackheart only fights when he knows he's going to win. Black he Heart. is not a fool. If he was yeah. there, it means he was absolutely sure that he can win. As you have already seen, he doesn't pull any punches. Yeah. I figured that. Yeah, by the way, now you know his name. It's Blackheart. Yeah. Blackheart. I could have made a better name, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that a guy called Amo can make better names. Ooh! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Get wrecked. He, he was born in a wasteland with only two people. He didn't really think much about his name. <coughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so. Basically, yeah. it's a metaphor. Uh, Ruru says, uh, You're more than welcome for what happened. Uh, I just thought it would be rather untimely for you to perish this soon into the game. Well, I gotta say, it's been some game so far. He taps his cane and you see a portal uh, flare up. Actually, um, you see that there's a lot of portals around, but they're all closed. Only one is open. You can borrow this place. From now on, I will entrust it to you. This is my final gift, since we will probably not meet again. What makes you say that? Uh -huh. Why not? Yes, well, as I have already mentioned, I am an observer. And I have been failing rather much at performing my task. I've been interfering with you and other matters behind the scenes which has caught a lot of negative attention to me. I'm gonna have to lay low for a while. So as I said, this will be my final gift to you. This place is like a nexus. Once you visit worlds, it will unlock portals leading to them. So you can use this as your place of power. You can store equipment and valuable things I believe something of this nature would be very useful to adventurers such as yourselves. So now we have a hub world, like every other game. By the way, he mentioned that this is just one of many. He's just letting you borrow this one. Hmm, mm, I see. So, all these portals... Does that mean they lead everywhere? Almost everywhere. Mm. Where does not to lead? To the city. Like I said, right now you only have one portal, and that is the world which you came from. In order to unlock mm. the other ones, you will have to visit the worlds first. Uh, Where does, does it that not mean lead? We have to track back to the city to even get back there. <laughs> Don't worry, I think you have more pressing matters to worry than a bit of travel. Where does it not lead? <laughs> Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Of course. I suppose you won't be able to uh, help with these collars or anything? No, I'm sorry. But I know how you can deal with them. Oh. He shrugs. You already know the answer, I'm afraid. The one that made them active will have to remove them. Well, no shit, fucking Sherlock. <laughs> as charming as, a as ever, I see, Amo. Well, I mean, it wasn't really news. <laughs> Just saying. Honestly, you I asked me expected. if I know a way. I told you the way. It is not my fault you already know it and you do not like it. Well, that's his fault for asking. What a productive conversation. Very well then. But... I am a bit short on time. So if you have nothing else to say, I guess I should be on my way. Okay. 
You guys have nothing to ask, right? You done? Well, I did. Was it like? Yes. I did have something to say. I was expecting. I should have expected that you knew the other masked person that we knew. Other masked person? The rhyming one. Oh. Yes, I know him. What of him? I'm just wondering if you're in some sort of fan club with, you know, the masks. You are amusing. <laughs> so what's his name? If he has not told you, I believe I should respect his privacy and not share that information with you. Hmm. Okay. Have you not met with the Demon Prince? You should know what kind of jobs he undertakes. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Since you seem to be pretty slow on the uptake, let me spell it out for you. The, demons, uh, the Demon Prince sent him to help you and uh, contacted me to make sure that uh, he can take you somewhere safe. You have a lot of people looking out for you. You shouldn't disappoint them. I suppose that's fair. No pressure or anything. Now then, as I was saying, I should be on my way. And perhaps, maybe this will not be our last visit. Who knows, there are, there are endless possibilities. Perhaps I will be able to do something once more. But I wouldn't count on that much. Make sure you guys can handle whatever you throw yourselves into next time. I doubt you'll get this lucky again. Mostly we get thrown. A man chooses a slave obeys. I believe that was told to you just earlier today. Yeah, it was like a few minutes ago. Hmm. So oh. useful, so useful. Uh, as he's about to step through the portal, he says, And one more thing. Mm -hmm. The White Knight is here. Just something to think about. Wait, you don't mean... Yes. Uh. But, like I said, his presence is too great. The world cannot maintain his existence. You have perhaps noticed that there's a spot on the battlefield that neither army goes nearby. He is there. All the places of powers and uh, that hold great magic. He can be summoned there and he guards the shards there. He is not in one place at a time. He would side against the demons if push comes to shove. Keep that in mind. I see. And while I'm at it, I have done so much for you. Is it perhaps all right if I ask for a small favor in return? Mm -hmm. I suppose that's fair. Should you clash swords with the White Knight again and manage to defeat him, I need to receive his sword. Is that sufficeable? I will of Where course done? reward you with knowledge and whatever I can in exchange for his blade. Well, for everything you've done, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't think any of us could handle that Notorious anyway. Wonderful! I am so happy to hear that. <laughs> well yeah. then, I pray for your success in battle and that we will meet again in the future. He uh, removes his hat and bows politely and then steps through the portal and leaves. With, with him gone, Alexander's going to take a quick look around. So this is new place, huh? Let's see what's here. Mm, like a or... You fuckers oh. will never defeat me! Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Aha! I'm already here, stab! Uh. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> of course you remember him, he's the guy that almost killed you. Yes. <laughs> oh look, flashbacks. <laughs> okay, we're finally back. Right, here's the temple. So, woohoo, you have a home, good job. 
And you have one portal leading to the Hell World, quote unquote Hell World. But and you don't know where you're gonna end up, so okay. there's that. Can I send my crow to like to the portal? Yeah. Sure. And like then make it come back? Sure. No wait. Uh you don't know if it's a one way or a two way, that's kind of the big deal. Are you sure you wanna risk it? Hmm. Well, Hmm. <laughs> Alexander's more like. I wonder and no, you cannot people. poke your head in there. Ah, oh, I was gonna say just an arm, but. Snap. <laughs> but Alexander's but more interested always... in the place. <laughs> it always leads to the same place, right? Right. Like if the crow goes there once, if we go there later, we're gonna end up with the crow. Maybe. I mean, it would make sense to me. Just saying. <laughs> So if it's a two-way, he's gonna come back. If it's not, then he is gonna be stuck there. Yeah, but that's not. I don't think it's a problem. He can just fly away and come back. And might not be with you for weeks and weeks and weeks. Who knows where he ends up? Do it. Mm -hmm. It could be unstable. Just... By the way, how do, how does the water feel? <laughs> the water's pretty nice. Take a dip. I'm no, honestly, you I want to see if it's drinkable. <laughs> It's drinkable. It just a uh, nice. Crow is just a two plus two to damage, so I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> yes, he cares so much about his companion. Yeah. So the crow yeah, goes and can come back. It's safe. Okay. The so crow's the... only a number to him. What? <laughs> What's on the other side? On the other side, you can watch the chasm and the battlefield uh, below you. Basically, it leads up to the place where you first pop up in this world. Okay. So we can safely travel to both sides to avoid the battlefield? Yes. You guys can travel here, but uh, you didn't ask if you're the only ones that can come here. Kind of a big mistake on your part. Well, now we know that we're not, not the only ones can, that can come here because you should say that. Just saying, you don't know. <laughs> Got him. Hmm. So yeah, what do you guys do? Well, I guess we head through the portal since it's the only way. Unless you guys want to live here forever. I guess this yeah, is like nice. You know, take in inventory and shit and stuff like that, you know. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I suspect we all have the same inventory as before, but... <laughs> Are there like supplies here? There's like potions that we can take? Yeah, actually, nope. that's a good point. He never mentioned how we get back here. He said we can use this place, but... Yeah, he didn't mention. You, nobody asked and he didn't mention, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I assumed oh. he would tell us. Is there anything around that looks vaguely... ...objectish? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the that fuck does that What the fuck? <laughs> well, a like portal you know, gun? Like crystal or something. Well, yeah, we'll no, like again. a remote? <laughs> no, yeah, remote not really. Uh, I see. Damn it. Just... Just go, please. <laughs> just, <laughs> just get go. the fuck out. <laughs> just get the fuck mm. out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so getting tired. Right, I need someone to roll a 1d100. <laughs> okay. Do it. This is where you roll one. Wonderful. Thank right. you. Let's prepare. That means it's bad. Because that's the GM I thought this. Yeah, but that's the thing. I thought this was a stable portal. Right. So you got... No, it's a stable portal. Yeah, so you can't... The crow just went and time. come back. Yeah. Hmm, okay. You didn't come back 100 years later, right? No. <laughs> 100 year old crow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they sound like? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that 40 mean, huh? You're gonna find out once you step through the portal. Didn't we? Sunny demons. Just he sick. just puts us right back where we were. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, come on, what is it? Ah, oh, now I'm getting frustrated. What is it? 
de social organization. Yes, there we go. That's the one I was looking for. Right. <laughs> now to move you guys there. Are there any cool magical weapons or armor in this place? Oh, no, good. Battle not. team. <laughs> we end up on top of a giant. Ah, why? <laughs> no. What you see below you in the chasm is uh, some guy against a giant fire demon with many hands and he's fighting him. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, why should we care? Just saying. I mean, you put the battle music on. Yeah, because there's a battle. Okay. <laughs> so can we just casually mosey to the to one side? Well, sure. If you want to move along, no, nobody's stopping you. So mm -hmm. you want to go down or what? Well, it's the only choice, isn't oh. it? What do you mean? Wait. For some reason, I can't see whatever is on the screen. It shows the fucking yeah. temple to me. Yeah. See, I don't think you've changed oh. this to a picture. I haven't? No, I should I have? Temple. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Change us. Oh. oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, GM, oh, explain. Oh, you definitely saw it this time, huh? <laughs> GM, explain that. Explain what? So... Explain the, the giant what? fiery thing. Yeah, I already did. Demons. Dude, demons. Don't question it. Aliens. Uru, why are you putting us in the area with demons? <laughs> like I said, it's the same portal that you came into this world. Basically the same that the same that you used last time. It led to the same place. Why is this guy here? That area wasn't in the battle zone nowhere near. <laughs> like I said, this this is not part of the main battlefield. You see in a chasm somewhere just below you there's a struggle. Yeah, this guy's fighting a giant demon, that's it. Wait, how's he um, doing? Well, not so great. Hmm. Well, I guess we're helping him now. Wait, yeah. can I check? I want to see. Right, I'm going to use this if it kills me. Is my arm hurt, like burning or not? What? Is my arm reacting or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, I got a plan. Okay. Lipson, this time I really do need the Black Gahana. His name's Sullivan. Yeah, his Sullivan. name's Sullivan, man. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's Which written one? like right under Why his... Why is it so hard to remember? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Can it's I written on screen. It's like, ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Why? Ah! Uh. Ah! Oh. Uh. If you do that, then my damage would be insane. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you say. Okay. One each time I've ever given it to you. I remember the last time that's I. That's the thing. No, no, I remember the look, first I... time I gave you something. It was that scroll of polymorph, and then you completely wasted it. But I don't <laughs> have to roll if I use in conjunction with my power. Give me. <laughs> oh, you guys are arguing. I'm just gonna prepare some things. Okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, I'm approaching the demon and banging the sword on All my right. shield and saying, FACE ME FOUL DEMON! He uh, can't he's really below hear us. you. Oh. Oh, yeah, I we're above him. Black Gahana. Okay, go for yeah. it. And remember to roll... No, wait, for the Gahana you don't need. Never mind. You don't need to do what? No, worry about it, just do it normally. I think it's a wisdom roll that you don't know what it does. Yeah. Fuck, where's the picture? I God, feel like he, if you fail too many wisdom rolls, you're gonna become a demon or something. Oh, nice! <laughs> Alexander's gonna stand at the top of a cliff as the black wait, flames wait, engulf his arm. Wait! Mm -hmm. What? I rolled a 12 plus. Yes, you did. Uh, what do you do? Guess, well, guess what? 
Empowered? I, roll, uh, I rolled a 10 through 11, too, so empowered magic. Okay. The spell effect is maximized. You get 20 damage. Nice. Mm. 20. Mm. And the spell effects are doubled! And I <laughs> get it! 40. 40 damage! Holy shit! <laughs> so this is what Alexander does as the oh, black flames are cooling up his arm. 60 damage! No, 80 <laughs> damage. 80? Oh Wait, God. what? 80 damage. Wreck him! But I Ale kill. Alexander's walking up to the gorge and he makes sure to take off uh, his coat on that side of his arm so one half is hanging off because he doesn't want to ruin it. <laughs> and he charges up his own flames to mix with the black ones. He's like... I hope this works. And then Don't. suddenly he leaps off towards the demon. <laughs> With the heroic striker. Yes. I'm gonna come down like a heroic meteor. Don't miss, okay? I can't. <laughs> yeah, he can't miss. I can't. It's like I will not be surprised. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. This is, has a so... lot of shit. Oh yeah, he's instant dead. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Too much damage. No, right. no, look. Yeah, but I just want to make it. So that's 80 times 3 with 30 on top of that. Wait, what? 6 on top of that. <laughs> what? It's well I over think 200 we damage. Killed the angel guys. Guys, I think we could have killed the angel. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> wait, that's ah, doing the math like, wrong. Ah. Uh, what's your basic max damage? 8, right? 8, yes. 8 times 3, that's 24. So plus Lipsos, I mean Sullivan's 80, that's 104. Uh, yes, but it, this is also a demon, isn't it? Yeah, it's a demon. Still. So, it so then plus 30 on that and plus 6 due to the no, plus 2 damage plus I normally get. Plus 10, not plus 40. No, yeah, that's exactly. 10 is a normal max damage of that, so then it's times 3 that. You cannot add that 3 times, you're you're doing the math wrong. Anyway, so yeah, it's basically around yeah. 120 damage, something like that, but it's more than enough to kill him. He had like 85 mm. health, so... <laughs> okay. So I basically overkill. come down in a, f in a ball of bright blue and black whoa, flames whoa, 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 right whoa. on top of him. Don't get too hyped and everything. O'Sullivan did this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, when you get done, well, okay. Continue with your explanation. I've got something for you when you land. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Is that how it? That's how it looks. He basically just lipped off and then came down in a meteor of blue and black flames. Okay. What is that? It's up to the GM to like what yeah, happens. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to explain it. Know. It's cool. You can explain it yourself, man. You can Describe do it. how it dies. Yeah, describe how it dies, man. <laughs> Have fun with it. Yeah. Describe it. Really? Yeah, go for it. Because I know for a fact that something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> go for it, man. Have fun. Yeah, so he basically le leaped off down towards the demon, extending his arm at the last moment, cracking the armor on the demon's back, causing it to screech out in pain. And a moment later, its own flames are consumed in black, and then from within explodes the bright blue light. And Alexander's standing there, slowly moving in and out as he steps out of the remains of a demon. O'Sullivan goes out, go up to him and going like, don't get too high and mighty of yourself. That was me. Now, <laughs> Strange, I thought he was for both is, of us. Now, where the fuck is the loot on this thing? <laughs> the chest like up here below him. That's amazing. Uh, I, like, I, I want loot. What did he drop? He didn't drop anything. He's now a pile of ashes. I demon <laughs> ashes. That's got to be worth something. <laughs> Get a little baggy. That ha that's got to have some type of power. Scoop that there. shit up, man. Okay, I so why was Sullivan sweeping up the demon? <laughs> Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Uh, the warrior that was fighting the demon until now uh, just takes a seat because he's obviously fucking tired as hell. 
I don't know where I you came from, but thank you, stranger. I to have a bag of ashes now. Okay, you have a bag of ashes. It weighs one. <laughs> I can't believe Even you actually that. picked that up. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Some dark ritual will probably help. He takes, a, uh, he takes a big sigh. Thank you. No problem, man. No problem. We saw you in trouble, so we decided to help. His armor is a little scorched, by the way. He's taken a few nasty blows. He can walk it off. I was say, that was rather impressive to be facing him alone. Yeah, well, he kind of cornered me, so I didn't have a choice. I wasn't intending to die without a fight. <laughs> by the way, Alexander goes up and offers his hand. He goes, my name is Alexander Shimura. Uh, he tries to stand up, but he seems tired, so he just, while sitting down, like, takes uh, your hand. Wait, what was this guy's name? Fuck, I forgot. Just a sec. <laughs> I'll look it up. Make Hello, it up. Make it up. Make it up. Bob. John. Bob John. Tina? Bob Johnson. My name is nice. Ron. Thanks again for your help. Ron? Yeah. Oh. Braun, not Braum. Braun, with an N. Yeah. Isn't that a Game of Thrones game too? Oh hey, whatever. <laughs> so I, is John. I must admit that was one True. hell of an attack. How did that you do that? Me. Oh, well, that it's all. That it's like me. it's. Alexander chuckles and he goes. Well, it's half to do with this, and he shows the tattoo, and half to do with this little guy here. Not tattoo. Half. Half. Hmm. You don't like it that we work together, do you? <laughs> I don't like it when you're snobby. Strange. You guys don't seem to be from around here. Are you new? Yes. Why is it that everybody asks if we're new whenever we go somewhere new? <laughs> Maybe because you stand out like sore thumbs. Oh, you don't exactly. Yes, not fair. exactly a daisy on top of the hill either. <laughs> Perhaps not. Though I am on a hill, <laughs> sort of. If you look at my <laughs> picture. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> That's a nice sword. So you wouldn't happen to be the guys that the prince recruited, would you? Depends. Oh, you're... It's like, it's like huh. Well, yeah. How did you know? Well... I'm one of his generals. Hmm. So... Ah. Wait, what are you doing out here alone? I thought the prince's army was stationed on that floating island. He lowers his head a little. We were sent as a scouting party, and we got ambushed by that beast you saw. There were a few mm. more of it, like it. We slayed most of them, but my men died. As I was the only one left, I had to make sure I survive, so I can relay the information. It Let seems see that our it seems that our enemies are pinpointing the location of our camp and that is gonna make matters a lot more complicated in the future I see it's because yeah makes sense hmm. so I, I thought the prince would ask of you to perform a duty in the Empire, what are you doing all the way out here? Things got a little... Got ...heated. It always gets... ...heated. Yeah, well... ...things tend to have a way of going south... ...when you least expect it. Especially on the battlefield, it turns out. Mm -hmm. He just nods as he looks towards the distance. You see that there's a couple of corpses, like 500-600 meters away. Son of his fallen men. Hmm. So you good to go and give the information? Yes, don't worry about me. I'll rest for a few minutes and return back to camp. Thank hmm. you for helping me. 
Anytime. No problem. Anyway, we must get back on our own mission now. Mm -hmm. He nods. I wish you good fortune. And I hope that you will return with your mission fulfilled, whatever it is. Alexander nods. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy uh, is, uh, while he's resting, he suddenly uh, pops back up and prepares his sword. Oh no, they found us. Huh? Hey. Oh. Oh. As he more. says that, which one uh, of them? Something very unpleasant is about to happen yet again. Yeah. Mm. Well, who are they? Because there's like five different sides to this battle. Sorry, but I don't give up that. God easily. damn it! Yo, it's a fucking giant portal. Us so easily. Why the fuck are you after us? Another oh, giant hey. portal <laughs> opens up, and this guy's Shh. army starts pouring out. Sorry, what? but yeah, I really don't give up easily. Uh, what is it with you and yeah, us? You are such a hypocrite. Right, where is this shit? What do you want from us? Now, if you'll okay. excuse me, I think I'm pretty much done with this game of cat and mouse. I think I'm just gonna kill you before you have a chance to run away this time. And when he says that, his army splits and he starts stepping up forward. Uh, the general that was standing next to you, he kind of uh, t tries to take the advantage, advantage and lunges forward. Before he even gets within 50 meters of this guy, he is enveloped in flames that this guy summoned. And the general is on fire, he's, uh, he's uh, collapsed to the floor and is trying to put the flames out. Pour frost, pour frost on him! Okay. Told to put the fire out. Okay. Ropeless intelligence. It okay, works. you managed to do it without hurting. The generals, uh, the flames are gone, he's back to normal. He's picking up his swords and picking himself up from the ground. But this time he's not rushing forward. My, aren't you the jumpy type? I had thought the prince would pick his minions better. I am no one's minion. I serve him of my own volition. Please, you're all just puppets to me. Alexander starts stepping forward. Clearly it will work. Uh, the general got time. really pissed by that comment, by the way, and says, "You, uh, the prince is nothing like you. You are just a coward. You use those around you. He is different than you, and that is why he is the one. He is going to be the one true leader. <laughs> Talk all you want. Might is all that matters." What exactly are his his army made out of? Uh, physical wraiths. Basically, the spirits of the dead take on physical form. Oh, so they're undead. Yeah. Mm. Can I use summon monster to something like summon some kind of divine monster? Depends on how you roll and what you get. <laughs> I want to summon monster. <laughs> Yes, I guess we're gonna have a fight with him. So Alexander. So what's the negative effects that you want? I heard... Wait, I want to use my staff. Plus one. Okay. So it was a one-time effect, right? Since this is the temporary yes. stuff. Now that staff is non-magical again. Yes. Okay. Haha. <laughs> 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 now I have to roll a d6. Uh... Good enough. It's got HP hmm. and Ooh. and it's celestial. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. So wait, uh, again, what did you get? Uh, it's got 12 HP. And okay. It's, and it's uh, a useful adaptation is I a guess... holy beast, something angelic. Yeah, ho yeah, holy. <laughs> okay. Holy. It takes less damage from undead and it does more. Okay, let's see. Uh, what what type of beast would be that? Fuck me. I don't know. Uh, 
You summon a dog like uh, you know what? Uh you summon uh, Amaterasu, that's what you summon. There you go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Holy dog. The doggy. What? You summon the doggy. The holy dodge. It's actually <laughs> isn't it a wolf? Yeah, she's a wolf. Doesn't matter. Yeah. You summon the holy dodge. There you go. So by the way, since he's stepping forward behind you guys, he summons his pet. Just to make sure you guys don't run away. And his arm is still surrounding the area. Now then, oh, apart from running away, do you have other tricks up your sleeve? He he says uh, mockingly as he start as he continues to walk towards you guys. Uh, his uh, body starts getting uh, uh, fire. The flames are surrounding him, and the uh, the earth that he walks on gets scorched. Alexander is also uh, walking towards him. Did he ask <laughs> He's for tricks case. up our sleeve? Yeah, I do. Go for it. Oh, you fail. No, you don't. Reroll. Mm. He explodes. Okay. Okay, you make it, but you're I done with that for the day. Yeah. What do you uh, roll to see what you get? I've got a trick up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Poof! Damn it! Six. six. Fire breath. Six. Fire, fire breath. <laughs> against the fire demon. Yeah, Very useful. Fuck. <laughs> well, you can use it against his, uh, you know, pet. When you, when you want to. You don't have to use it immediately. You can keep it for when you want to use it. Oh, oh that's really cool. During that's the really battle. Cool. That's really cool. After okay, the okay. battle, it's gone. Okay, okay. That's really cool, actually. <clears throat> so, I am gonna go full Shadow of Colossus, I guess. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to do that? True. Right, since he's getting closer, I also charge at Flaming Man. Implosion. As he says that, the ground around you starts to implode from the inside out. And pillars of light begin to pour up. Not pillars of light, pu uh, pillars of fire begin to sprout out everywhere. It becomes like a wall of flames encasing you and like drawing you basically closer towards him so you can't escape. Yeah. yeah I see. He wasn't Dude. trying to run away. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. Now you're stuck here with me. Apart from the part that you can still run away. Shut up. Attack! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> if no one else is doing anything, then I attack him. Go for I basically it. spin my tomfo around. Try jamming into his gut. You wanna do extra damage? <sighs> nah, just that. Okay, deal damage. You get your bonuses versus this guy. All your bonuses. So many bonuses. 13. You smack him clear across the chest and you see a gaping wound from the divine magic. But then the fires flare it up and he his wound immediately closed. What? That was it? He just looks at you and laughs. Wait, wait, how did you heal that? The flames purify. Even divine. He says that. By the way, his flames are obviously corrupted, so yeah. Well, yeah, no, so it's how a... the heck did he... Damn it. It's a matter of perspective, really. I thought I would... Please, if such a weak blow could harm me, how would I be one of the le one of the potential leaders of the demons? <laughs> he just he doesn't even try to attack you. He's not even on guard. He just points that out. Like, are you kidding me? Like, he's arrogant as fuck, as you can imagine. Are you, uh, is, like... is his pet doing anything? Yeah, his pet is basically watching over the pures to make sure uh, what you guys are doing in there. My celestial dog attacks are, uh, starts attacking. Okay, army. attacks what? This guy? Uh, uh, well, what's, there are minions pouring out, aren't there? Uh, the minions are right now, they're, basically this is what happens. You're all in a fire circle and this guy's with you. And outside, the minion and his army are all watching around. Like, they're, sur they've surrounded the circle and are watching you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I want the dog to attack him. Okay, go for it. Oh no, not 12d6. That would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> How's that bad? 
Yeah, by the way, way, I've been wondering, does my it, damage yeah. stack? Uh, your damage <laughs> stack, what do you mean? It like my arcane my... art damage, does it oh, stack? Oh, the dog's attacking no. it! Right, nine. Yeah. Okay, so the dog manages to attack him, roll damage. Okay, max damage, good job. The dog <laughs> nibbles into it and he gets an attack on it. What so about, this is what happens, well, the dog... Is the dog holy? Does the yeah. dog do extra damage for holy? Yes, it does. But how I much? can't tell you how much. Oh. I mean, you. Uh, well, I basically I wasn't supposed to tell you that it deals extra, but it's pretty clear because it, the divine magic leaves clear wounds on him. <laughs> unlike other stuff. So as the dog bites into his leg, he just reaches down, grabs it by the neck and lifts it up. He then chuckles. Oh. What a cute little pet. He then looks over to his... Mine's bigger. By the way, O'Sullivan, at this point you see how he literally snaps the the, the neck of your dog. And he just tosses no! the corpse aside into the flames. No! 12 damage in an attack? Yeah. He wasn't even trying. Bull crap. Why are we even fighting? can't even run away from it. This is bull crap. You know, I really want to try and kill his pet, but we're surrounded by a fire, right? All right, I'll guess I'll hit him. Hmm? With a sword. Speaking of which, uh, the flame wall. Oh, do you want to do extra damage? No. Okay, <laughs> just asking. Don't be shy. You want to do go. extra? No, I wow. don't. Wow. Okay, 11 damage, nice. Mm. Uh, unlike the divine magic, your attacks don't leave that much of a scratch, but you definitely land with a good blow on him. He doesn't right. counter-attack, he just tanks it and laughs. Mm -hmm. And then his attention slowly switches that. to the firewall, because something is stepping through the firewall. And it's actually another old friend, which you haven't seen in a while. And it's you thought was definitely dead. Yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on! You again? <laughs> we just Manda the get out steps, that ice? Manda steps him? through the Flames. Yeah, you don't know how it happened, but apparently he's still alive and now he's here. You can ask questions about it, maybe later, Who's, we'll see. But for now, unlike last time, Mundus apparently is not here to fight you guys. His attention is on Blackheart and he doesn't, before even saying anything, he lets out a roar and attacks, uh, uh, attacks uh, Blackheart. I step away. Mundus, <laughs> you are persistent, Wait. aren't you? I thought you were dead. Please. As if something uh, of that caliber can harm me. Nothing can kill the almighty flames. Really? Take a look around. Mundus looks at the flames around and then he realizes something about them. No, that's impossible. Yes, I consumed your master. You serve me now. I serve no one but the true Fire Lord. Your cinders are nothing compared to his. Well, how loyal of you. You can join him in death then. As the flames begin to flicker, the walls of fire disappear because there's two very powerful fire demons fighting. So these guys begin to fight and the walls are now gone. Which means that the big pet and the army is now coming closer so they can attack you. <laughs> okay, I, I, I... Yes. You wanna what? I wanna spout lore. Okay, go for it. I can hardly Perfect. hear, it, but okay. I've okay. been reading up on fire demons lately. Okay. I I had Ever a dream about that a one. fire demon. What do I know? On a temple, the gym will tell you something interesting and useful about the subject relevant to your situation. So you wanna know about the fire demons? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, this guy Blackheart, he's not a fire demon. He basically killed the Ward of Fire, another powerful demon, and took somehow took his powers and now made them his own. And the, the real fire demon, which was serving the Fire Lord, and this guy are now fighting. Which means that the flames are kind of in a bind. On one hand, they have the uh, they have the user who controls the power of the Fire Lord, and on the other, they have a true Fire Lord. So, the flames are, yeah, they're kind of combustible right now and they're not sure who they are serving. 
these guys are probably gonna cause a lot of damage and a lot of huge explosions before this is over. Now, you just, you... in order, yes. In order to get these flames under control, divine magic is not enough. The flames will just heal the wounds. Once divine magic is struck, then you can uh, they're basically weakened and you can use water and, and ice against them to defeat them more easily. Yeah, it's the same with uh, Blackheart. What about Blackheart? Well, he's got the power of a flame demon, right? Yeah. yeah he, he basically somehow finds the, the way... weaknesses of a flame demon. Yeah. He basically somehow found a way to steal, to kill and steal the powers of the Fire Lord. And now okay. he manipulates his power. Okay, I have just one thing to say before we get serious again. I okay. cannot get over the fact that his chest looks like a face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what it reminds me of? Like I, I, no, I don't know. What were those things called in Fallout 3? You know those crab creatures, the big ones? Mylord? Yeah. Mylord um, or whatever, yeah. No, it doesn't yeah, look anything like that. It looks like something, it looks like one of the alien races from Mass Effect. Like someone, <laughs> okay. mixed a, so, someone took a Saurian and mixed it with a Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> that would look hideous. That's exactly what his chest looks like! Hideous! <laughs> okay, get serious again. Okay, so yeah. These uh, two uh, demons are fighting and duking it out. In the meantime, his army and his pet are moving forward to attack you guys. What do you yes. do? Okay, okay. Sure. O'Sullivan. Telekinesis. On me. Towards the... Uh, can you telekinesis me towards the... Uh, giant? Keep in mind, it's about a hundred meters tall. That, that fucker's huge. Can you launch me, like, with telekinesis on top of him? <laughs> I'm not sure if you want to be. I'm not sure if you're thinking this through, Amo. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I'm you not. You feel like you're not thinking this through, man. Oh, you're not? Oh, as long as you're clear that you're not thinking this all the way through. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it will look cool. I forget it. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't have the force to do it. I have to roll a 10 plus to do anything with your... Okay, so your telekinesis uh, kind of backfires on Amo. That's it, but no negative effects. It, no, he just feels lighter. Huh. Hmm. Amo, oh, you thanks. lost a few pounds. Yay, can I jump on top of him now? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it there for a bit. Start scaling him like a wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it would I probably be well. easier right now. You get a plus one to climb him! Yeah, so can I climb him? Roll plus strength. With mm. a plus one? No. Why not? Because I said so. But he weighs less. Uh -huh. Nope. Which makes so him seem stronger. Uh, Amo, you're not gonna make it. You manage to avoid his leg as he's stomping down. He's not gonna hurt you, but you don't manage to climb up him. Okay. Sure. And at this point, the the rest of the army is around you. So if you turn your back to them and try to climb him, you'll be in danger. Um. I want to start preparing. What? Hold on. I I uh, have trouble visual visualizing. You're trying this. to use your uh, power casting. Is that right? Yes, but hold on okay. for a second. Uh, who's next to me? The party members. Yes, but who's closest? Well, the two demons are duking it out, and like, okay, on your left you see two giant fire demons fighting. Okay. On your hey, right Alex. you see. Hey, Alex! <laughs> yeah? You're basically surrounded, that's what I'm trying uh, to say. Protect me! You're um, a hero, right? Protect okay. me! And I start power casting. Someone asked me to protect oh, okay. them. Uh, you can do it up to five verses, right? Damn right. Okay. That's gonna be cool. I'm gonna do five first, but I don't know what I want to do. Fireball seems Senpai, like a bad. Senpai, you're gonna look so cool. Fireball mm. seems like a bad. Ooh, ooh, I know. I can summon an angel. <laughs> can oh. I do that? Five verses. <laughs> um, 
I'd advise against doing that. Why? Because you weren't here for the first half of the session. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Yeah. I didn't say I want to summon okay. that angel. No, trust me, don't do that. Okay, but, someone you know what? fill Fuck me it. in. You can do whatever you want. Someone fill me in now. I have no idea why. Hey, angels are evil. No, mm. that's not true. That's don't not lie it. to him. Uh, well, basically there's angels around and considering what's happening, there's a guardian angel that's supposed to be looking after you guys, but she got busy, so she's probably on her way here. That's all I'm saying. You don't need to summon an angel. Mm. Mm. Yeah, given that people seem to be able to detect us at will at this point. Yeah. yeah. Well, certain people. Some people.